प्लीज लाइक द वीडियो एंड सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल टू गेट अपडेट्स ऑल्सो प्रेस बेल आइकन टू रिसीव नोटिफिकेशन ऑफ न्यू अपलोड्स नमस्कार फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर अजय वर्मा इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियो वी डिस्कस्ड प्लेन स्केल्स डायगोनल स्केल्स एंड स्केल ऑफ कॉर्ड्स वे इफ यू हैव नॉट सीन दोज वीडियोज आई विल प्रोवाइड यू लिंक्स ऑफ ऑल द वीडियोज इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन सेक्शन ऑफ दिस वीडियो टूडे वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट कंपेरेटिव स्केल्स सो वट इज अ कंपेरेटिव स्केल एज द नेम इम्प्लाइज इट इज यू कंपेरिजन ऑफ different types of units such as if we want to compare yards for longs or miles which is the english you can see here two types of comparative scales are there one for the distances like we can convert these type of english systems into the meters or decimeters or decameter that is the metric system while in case of second uh, we can compare distances with the time and these type of scales are generally termed as time scales so let's before moving to the explanation of comparative scales here i have provided some conversion factors for english scales so here the notations m denotes miles f for furlong y for yard f for foot and i for inches so you can rememberize all these conversions so that you will not get any problem while solving the questions of comparative scales so you can see here 1 mile is equal to 8 furlongs or it is equal to 1760 yards it is equal to 5280 feet and 63360 inches if i want to convert furlong into yards here we can do 1 furlong is equal to 220 yards or it is equal to 660 feet or it is equal to 7920 inches One yard is equal to three feet. One yard is also equal to thirty-six inches, and one foot is equal to one foot is equal to twelve inches. That is very well known by everyone. Here I have provided this conversion in another way. So one mile is equal to eight feet, one uh, eight furlong. One mile is equal to eight furlong. One furlong is equal to two twenty yards. One yard is equal to three feet. One feet is equal to twelve inch. So in this manner, you can convert whenever the questions of miles, furlongs, yards, etc. has been there. As far as metric system is concerned, all the conversion I have already discussed in plane and diagonal scale. So you can go through those videos to find out the conversion. So this is all about a brief introduction of the comparative scale. what what actually we are doing we are actually drawing two scales for the comparison of different types of units so on one scale you can provide miles furlongs yards etc etc on the other hand uh, just below it we can provide the metric distances or alternatively you can provide distances meters decameters or kilometers on one side of the scale and you can compare that distance with the time so let's begin with the construction of comparative scale so here we are having one problem draw a comparative scale with rf is equal to 1 is to 720 to measure yards and meters so at one side of the scale we will be measuring yards while at the other side we will be measuring the meters so now you have to find out length of scale for drawing but as you know that most of the time we are taking length of scale equal to either 15 cm or in this particular case we can take length of scale as 6 inches so first you have to write down for the yard scale as from this rf you can write down 1 inch is equal to 720 inches as rf is always in one units in case of english system or this uh, miles for long system this one is always represented in inch and this 720 is also inches so you can write down 1 inch is equal to 720 inches now we know that uh, as per the conversion factor 
वन यार्ड इज इक्वल टू थर्टी सिक्स इंचेस यू नो दैट एंड वी हैव टू मेजर इन टर्म्स ऑफ यार्ड्स सो वी कैन राइट डाउन वन इंच इज इक्वल टू सेवन ट्वेंटी डिवाइडेड बाय थर्टी सिक्स और दिस इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी yards so as far as far as this rf is concerned you are having 1 inch is equal to 20 yards so as we already discussed that we have to take length of scale equal to 6 inches so if once 1 inch is equal to 20 yards so 6 inches will be equal to 6 into 20 that is 120 yards okay so in this manner we have find out that the length of the scale will be 6 inches and that will represent 120 yards on this particular scale now we calculate the metric convergence so we can write down for this in matrix it is centimeter so 1 cm is equal to 720 cm or we can write down 1 cm is equal to 720 divided by 100 meter as we know that 1 meter is always equal to 100 cm so this will be converted to 7.2 meter so we can say that 1 cm is representing 7.2 meter so as we know the length of a scale will be either 6 inches or 15 cm because 6 inch is equal to 15 cm so if 1 cm is representing 7.2 meter therefore 15 cm will represent 10 15 multiply by 7.2 that is 108 meter so when we will be drawing a 6 inch line that is 15 cm line it will be representing either 108 meter or it will be representing uh, that uh, 120 yards so first of all we will draw a straight line equal to 6 inch or 15 cm which will represent 120 yards so you can divide this 120 yard into six equal parts so as to get each part equal to 20 yards like this and you can give the markings here so this is 0 this is 20 then 40 then 60 80 and 100 all these are yards also you can divide this last division into say 10 parts so that each part will be showing you 2 yards 2 4 6 up to 20 it will be in this manner you can complete the scale of yards here by providing a rectangle of 1 cm height the main divisions may be dropped from here and then the subdivisions may be dropped from this side then you can provide some sort of decorative designs also say this is completing the yard scale now just below this draw another line to represent meters equal to 15 cm you can complete the rectangle you can divide this line also into six equal parts because this is representing 108 meter 6 inches or 15 cm it will be representing 108 meter so you can divide this into again six equal divisions each division will be representing 18 meters
so these are meters basically right so this is yard this is meter and you can divide this part also into nine equal divisions say 1 2 3 4 7 8 9 so this each part will be representing 2 meters up to 18 so in this way you can compare this yard with the meters so whatever the distance you are representing here on the yards say you are representing 36 yards so 0 to say this is 30 so this will be the 30 and for 6 you will move this side say this is the 6th division so this will be 36 yards and the similar division can be measured directly from this on the scale so it's in this way you can compare both the scales now here is a problem a car is running at a speed of 60 kilometers per hour on a map one centimeter is representing four kilometers this is for rf draw a comparative scale to compare minutes and kilometers to a single unit single unit means up to one kilometer and up to one minute and long enough to measure up to 60 kilometers show distance covered by the car in 40 minutes on this scale so this is the problem from here you can easily find out the rf that is 1 by 4 leg will be the rf at the same time you can find out the relation between time and distance using this data that is 60 kilometers per hour in such cases where time and distances has to be correlated so first of all we have to find out the relationship between time and the distance so the speed of the car is given as 60 kilometers per hour it means that 60 kilometers is equal to one hour as far as time and distance relationship is there so length of scale can be found out using this 60 kilometer and rf is given as 1 by 4 leg so we can multiply rf with 60 kilometer that is equivalent to one hour it may be so you can write down here 60 kilometers which can be converted into centimeter by multiplying 10 to the power 5 so this 10 to the power 5 will be cancelled out and the length of scale will be 15 centimeter so as per this relation this 15 centimeter will be representing 60 kilometers or one hour now you can draw two scales one over the other keeping the zero coinciding so first you can draw say for example the minutes scale so what you will do you will draw a 15 centimeter line and then this 15 centimeter will be representing 60 minutes or one hour so you can divide this 15 centimeter into six equal divisions each will be equal to 10 minutes and the last division the leftmost division may be divided into 10 equal divisions so as to get the single minute then you can draw another 15 centimeter line just below the previous scale like this so as to divide it into six equal divisions every division will be provide you each division will provide uh, 10 kilometers and the last one may be divided into 10 parts so as to get the single kilometer so in this way you can compare minutes with the distance uh, minutes with the kilometers so as in the problem it is given that you have to find out uh, distance covered by the uh, car in 40 minutes so you just draw 40 minutes here that will directly provide you how much distance the car has moved on the distance scale so in this manner you can draw the comparative scales so this is all about comparative scales in the next video we will be talking about the vernier scale thank you very much